guys, just a few announcements before I start today's video. Just real quick, first one, this Wednesday, I'm gonna do a YouTube live session with two special guests, Diego Fooder and Eric Schultz. Diego and I are gonna be talking about some stuff that's happening with Paper Pot Co., uh, the certified organic paper chains, a lot of people asking questions about that, and some new exciting stuff we've got coming. Uh, and Eric is gonna be doing a little presentation on some of the things that have really changed the game for him on his farm this year, like some tools he's implemented, some different ways of doing things. He's gonna be talking about that, and we'll have time for Q&A. You guys can ask questions to all three of us if you like, so that's this Wednesday at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I hope to see you guys there. Second thing is some people asking about why from the field dot farm is now closed for registration. It's basically just easier to run these websites when you have a consolidated enrollment period because then you deal with all of the enrollment issues in one period of time and then when that time period's done, you can just focus on um, improving the experience for people in the platform and so that's essentially it, you know. When people are signing up, there's credit card issues and stuff like that, like some cards get denied. And we've been able to work most of these out. Um, and if we haven't, please email me and we'll sort you out. Um, but it makes it easier just to get that done and then focus on moving forward with the people that are in there. So we had a lot of, we had over 2,000 people sign up, so it's awesome. It's been a big success. We'll be relaunching it again in early April. And if you wanna join up, make sure you go to fromthefield.farm, hit the sign up button, and you'll, you'll get an email, you'll just go onto an email list that will only send you an email when we're relaunching it. It's, you're not gonna get a weekly email or anything like that, it's just to be notified when the site comes up. And then thirdly, still tickets for Steadfast Farm, February 25th. Love to see some of you guys down there. After this year, I'm really gonna be slowing down my speaking schedule. Uh, it's been a little crazy for the last couple years and I've been, it, it's actually been, I've been able to maintain it because my daughter's still under two and so she flies free. And so I've been able to travel with my family for 99% of my public speaking, which is awesome. But I don't think we're gonna be able to maintain it all the way. And so it's not, not saying I'm not gonna do workshops in the future, but after this year, I'm really gonna slow down. So we got Steadfast in February. We got uh, Jean Martin's farm in June. We've got uh, Dog Patch Urban Gardens with Jenny Quiner, which is an awesome urban farm in Des Moines, Iowa. That's in July, and then uh, I'll be in I'll be in uh, Europe in August, uh, Luxembourg, Belgium, Germany. A little stopover in Sweden. That's in August. That'll, dates will come up soon for that. And then Ray Tyler's farm back in October at Rose Creek Farm. So go to the Urban Farmer slash PMG if you want to check out more info on that. And I'll have the steadfast ticket in the uh, show notes there. All right guys, enjoy the video. Hey guys, I'm here at Sugar Top Farm, just outside of Orlando, Florida. And in this video, I just wanna show you a couple different types of greenhouse models that I think are very ideal for these tropical or subtropical climates. They're basically a standard high tunnel with a long straight wall. Looks like it's about seven feet. And then you've got your bow arch over top. And what's great about these tunnels is they're, they use space very efficiently. Like you can stand right up to the edge so you can maximize your usable space in them. But what's also very common down here in Florida and this is something I actually don't see a lot with market gardeners, but I see it a lot with conventional farms down here, is they have gutter connected tunnels like this. So you've got another tunnel connected to it and then you've got a gutter down the center that, that runs the water out when it rains. You can essentially cover a whole farm with something like this. And it's a very practical application because down here in Florida, the greenhouse doesn't serve the purpose of adding heat units. It's really more about keeping rain off and you can pair that with a shade cloth. So I, I would suggest, and from what I've seen down here, the best combination is to have a poly top with wide open sides, wide open end walls, with a shade cloth on top of that. And people down here are going anywhere from a 30 to a 50 to sometimes even a 70% shade cloth. The 70 
and 50s are probably something they're using more in the hotter times of the year and certainly the 70s only in the summertime but with this kind of design you're basically going to keep the the rain off your crops and that's that's super important especially during the times of the year where you're getting unexpected rain you know events like in the summer where you just get pummeled with rain this is going to keep your crops you know from washing away and one of the challenges down here in Florida is they've got unbelievably sandy soil like it's it's pure sand and I'll, I'll do another video talking about how they're they're managing their their soil down here because there are challenges with having soil that's essentially just beach sand but this is to me this is the real solution if, if I if I had an if, if in an ideal world to start a farm down here like this this farm here that we're on is about uh, is about half an acre the plot the, the, the plot of land is about half an acre in an ideal world I would just gutter connect an entire half acre with greenhouses like this and I don't think these are that expensive I'll try to find a link and put it in in the, the show notes or attached to this video in some way so that you can see that but uh, in the tropical climates you know like I, I've traveled all over Mexico and seen things similar to this parts of Florida it really what I'm talking about here for for this application is hot and humid climates in 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 hot dry climates you might not need this kind of thing because like you don't see these in California that much certainly might but you don't see them that much um, but at the same time too with this type of greenhouse you could channel lock and wiggle wire in the sides for the you know and down here there's like two months that they might get frost so you know it could serve the purpose of adding heat units to the farm as well but i think mostly the purpose is to keep the rain off and keep it shaded